Hey everybody, time for another episode of Keith Perry Out of the Wilderness. And this is Keith, and I'm Perry. It's as nice. usual. Yeah, as usual, <laughs> yeah. It's just uh, our twins are out on vacation, so we're filling in today for right. them, you know. They're crazy nuts. I heard, I heard they caught uh, COVID again, that's right, they yeah. can't see it. But. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, we're, we're fortunate. Uh, we uh, Actually, it's not fortunate in our opinion, but we were blessed and brought through, as you already know, the COVID episode, uh, clean bill of health, both of us are a-okay back to and back I have to a, normal. I have a post-COVID doctor's appointment this month just to check my blood pressure, just the nominal yeah, things. Yeah. I feel great. So, yeah. you know, I, I know, I know God's design is perfect. And now that I've come through it and I have natural immunity, I've been asked, do you want to get the shot now? And it's no, 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 because yeah. God's design is perfect. perfect yeah. I am now, and according to God's design, if my body works the way he designed it, which it so far it has, <clears throat> I'm immune to it. Yeah. And so, that's, that's according to science pre COVID. Yeah. So anyways, but, you know, that being said, um, uh, <clears throat> I think we maybe went to chat about we're going to chat about respect, respect and honor. Honor. And honor. And courtesy comes along with respect. If you, um, if your courtesy, mm. if you're, if you're courteous to somebody, it's a sign of respect, you know, and, and we should respect others until they give us a reason not to respect them. Yeah. You and know, and when, and, you know, and when that occurs, then it becomes our, away. our responsibility to not buy in to or to reduce their, ourselves to that to level. Let, Correct. Yeah, do not let but, the external influences affect your internal walk with God. Right, because we have control Don't into over it. that. Yeah, Don't that's right. buy into it. We have control. Just a, a quick thing. I'm not going to go into any kind of detail. But just this morning, uh, cracking my character. Uh, we were pulling into a parking lot. Ran into the mayor uh, of Clown Town. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to grab a cup of coffee. And there was a, a, a man in a pickup in a trailer. I uh, was going to do some, quote, yard work, land, landscaping uh, yeah. company. And, <clears throat> uh, like, the details aren't important, but the waves parking and then all that attitude. Well, he was attitude. in quite a hurry. Yeah, big hurry. But anyway, he was, he he was copped, angry. He, yeah, hangry. <laughs> hangry. But he copped an attitude. Yeah. And with me, and instead of just buying and uh, moving over a little and going by this guy and I Perry just bought into it. it, I bought into it and allowed and him to affect him. That's right, it did. And and, and here I am over here going, so, Perry, 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 let it go, it, yeah. let it just go, go. Yeah, and because I it's not I, worth it. And Keith is right. So I took the deep breath. We part took a deep breath. Got over it, went inside, got our coffee, visited with the people. And guess who comes in and stands right next to us? <laughs> Clown Town Man. Clown Town Man, yeah. But, yeah, but that's no, okay. We didn't but, say nothing to him. No, the point of that is I have to work every single day to... We all do. Not. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. But not to buy into those things. Mm -hmm. So it's just to, to encourage you. We all have, have frustrations with school boards and... Uh, teachers and uh, man, there's, there's, who knows, uh, but we well, show them when we walk away, smile and remove ourselves from those kinds of situations. We're showing them what our walk really is. Well, there, I that, will say there, there is a difference between righteous anger and human anger. Absolutely, you have to know, because a righteous anger is what Jesus showed in the temple when he was flipping the tables over, saying, "You know, the zeal for his for his father's house." That's a righteous yeah. anger, and that, if you're not directing it at one person or berating or degrading, is okay, because it's. But this was not righteous anger no, today. This, this was, was just human Perry anger. being, yes, pissed off. <laughs> so human. anyway, that's. Um, <clears throat> We need to work on all of it, respect and honor. Well, in uh, honor, if you if you lead an honorable life and you have honor within your heart, you're not <laughs> going to treat people that way. No, no. It, it's you're going to honor them as a child of God, who's or as a child who's of God, who's made in the image of God, Absolutely. who has intrinsic value, whether we choose to see it or not. Every human on this planet 
has intrinsic value because they're made in the image of God. Oh, absolutely. And when we look at people through God's eyes and not our eyes, we see that. We do. But it's hard. Oh, absolutely. You know, but again, look, I don't know where in, in, in my Bible that it says that it's going to be an easy walk. I look at the, you look fact, at the apostles. It, it, and, in the Bible, if you read it between the lines, it, it says, says it's going to be difficult. Yeah, it says the path is, yeah, it, it, it says that mm. the, the gates are narrow. To heaven. And, and to heaven. And, and the path is, is rocky. Wide. And many, many are called, but only few will yeah, make it. That's the wide whole bunch will follow. But it's, it's as you already know, it, it's uh, we either choose uh, to be part of God's family, or we don't. Right, and so that's, and that's where that's free pretty, will comes in. Yep, that's a. And today, I exercised the free will and shot my face off when I should have kept it <laughs> shut. You know, and I, I know I'm still like, harp on Kicking those things yourself a little, bot, a but little just don't. bit. I, I, yeah. We can't. But we are real. We live a real life. Uh, we are. Uh, two real friends right. who correct one another. What when you we see here is the way we live. Uh, yep. And I mean, and it, it's a, I, even I get angry at people. Um, my road rage used to be really, 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 really bad. Yeah. I quit carrying my sidearm in my vehicle for that very reason. Um, I have since learned, I've gotten older, I've gotten more mature and a little wiser. I leave my sidearm at home. Um, and I realized, you know, people go ripping by me instead of going, ah, idiot. I just go, hmm, you must need to get somewhere quicker than I do. Yeah. And then when we both pull up to the same red light, I go, boy, you didn't make it there any quicker, did you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I, yeah. I, I used to get annoyed. Now I get amused. Yeah. I just laugh at them. Yeah. But, but what you can't expect on, you know, with that being said as well, we can't expect to be treated with honor unless you if show we show yeah. honor and well, uh, like started to say, the disciples and the apostles, those guys were uh, hung upside down on a cross, Peter, even though it's by choice. But the point is, uh, they passed from this life to the next bloody, 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 physically yeah. bloody, um, hurt, pain. You know. yeah. So yeah. our little and my little annoyance with the, with the yard guy today is... Is minor, uh, not even minor, it's not even a you blip know. on the radar. No, it's not. It's uh, not even a bump in the road. Yeah. So, why let, just, so why should we human. let us? Yeah. So why should we let ourselves get caught up in that? Right. Like I said to Keith just before we started the video, um, you know, be ironic if one day sitting in church and this this guy walks in, sits mm -hmm. down and goes. <sighs> I didn't. I see. Uh, but how embarrassing would that be? Right. But it would be a good lesson. Yeah. So a lesson in humility, yeah. which but, we all need to learn. Yeah. And there's yeah. a lot of other things we need, I think, to to learn to uh, to give honor and respect to those much younger than I, and this includes me as well. Should give honor and respect, no matter what, to our older peers. Uh, people that are older than I, I need to respect the 80-year-old friend that I well, have. You see, you see in the younger uh, generations, they've lost that. Yeah. Um, when I was growing up, we need I always hung out that. with older people. Why? Because the stories they told and the the wisdom they could impart what, to me was invaluable. Oh, absolutely. They're a walking, they're a walking encyclopedia. One well, and, and a walking. I mean, they've already been through it all. Yeah. They've already been there. Yeah. So but then us, us older guys, gals, uh, I believe we need to respect, uh, I have to be careful with this, but I believe we need to respect the, the younger guys no, too, you're, be, yeah. because I learned something. Keith is my electronic guy. If I need something wired or whatever, uh, Keith, can you come see me on Saturday or Sunday? I can't make this dumb thing work. And he comes down and goes, zip, 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 and you just, shh, shh, shh. okay. Thanks. <laughs> I write those directions down and they still don't work. You know, yeah. so, but again, I honor that and respect that because he can teach and does teach me things that are very valuable at my age, you know, a couple of years right. short of, short of being 80. I mean, 10 years I don't, older than dust. No. Yeah, ten, yeah, 10 years older than dirt. Yeah, as they say. But I, I, have I always say dust, dust because it, dust is even older than dirt. dirt. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I'm, uh, I'm dirt. You're dust. Uh, hey, yeah, there we go. That's, that's good. 
but but still, uh, those things come along with honor, respect, yeah. and it shows our character. Who yes. am who am I really? Uh, there was used to be some game show that was called "Who Are You Really," and then they would guess to see who this the hidden star. And then they go, be. "Will the real such so and such, such please stand up?" Yeah. yeah, it's an old, old game old show. thing. Old, but game I had to live life that way. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. uh, who is the real me? Uh, I can be a real me sitting here visiting with you in front of this little phone camera and turn it off and drive around the corner to the grocery store and I can be a real butt. A real raging butt, uh, butthead. If, if I choose to do yeah. that. So, uh, you know, they, we have to be a little careful right. about those things. But, but honor. Just do the right thing. Even yeah. if nobody's watching, do the right thing. That's because somebody besides God, usually there's someone around that well, it has comes back seen. To God sees everything. Yes, he does. And <laughs> But still, there's a lot of times when we think nobody's going to see this. God and does. there, well, but there's somebody on a street corner with nothing to do, right. taking pictures of a red light or right. something silly. There's Just always a pair silly. of eyes on you, always, yep. always in the city, yep. always, always. Yeah. So work at being the gray man. Just uh, seen but not heard, or heard sometimes and not seen. So, but a respectable, you know, and always very, showing yeah. respect yeah. And, yeah. and and honor. And, and then we yeah. need to honor. Obviously, we just passed the Labor Day weekend. We need to always honor our men and women who uh, serve in our military. That's Memorial Day. Memorial Labor Day. Days of the workers. Well, anyway, all of those days, it doesn't matter to me. I still believe that we need to honor, respect, and support our military. Uh, yeah, uh, no absolutely. matter what their viewpoints are, they're the ones we just lost 13 again that we've been told of uh, from Afghanistan or the, the moving yeah don't and, get me going yeah on. we're not gonna it's just the point that they gave all some of us yeah. gave some they gave all right uh and they have families need, too yeah, we need to respect them. um They're one of them of one of the soldiers has a seven month old daughter yeah um we really need to keep the wife and the children and the families up yeah. in prayer because right now they're suffering they're grieving I they're think, hurting yeah i think one of them too was like a week away when he got home from uh yeah a week away from get, from getting, from getting out yeah well or, I, yeah, or, or yeah, get, he yeah. was getting he was gonna he was scheduled to be married a week after he got yeah, home right. so mm. but anyway those things respect uh, respect our children at home. If you're raising little ones, which uh, are you know your own or grandkids, when I say your own mm -hmm. uh, or grandchildren, I have a daughter raising grandchildren. Uh, I think uh, Charlotte, you're raising some grandchildren. Love you, my dear. Uh, when we teach them respect, and how do we do that? We show it to them. That's right. We walk. Children it. are smart. Oh, absolutely. And they're, they're products like, of their environment. So if your are. environment has no respect and no honor, they will have none. Right. Yeah. Be yeah. the change that you want to see in your children. Yeah. Be that change. And I see that with uh, the the family, my personal family out there that get these uh, videos uh, off the, I call it the rice side of the family, but it's actually off the Schroeder side of the family. Uh, my mom and her sister, Marie and brother, you know, we're all cousins down the line. And there's a lot of you that are raising uh, uh, stepchildren. I hate that word, step, um, and or grandchildren. Um, and so my prayers, our prayers out of the wilderness, uh, prayers are with all of all of you. Children are very important. Yeah. They're our greatest resource. Jesus even said, suffer not the children. Bring them to me yep. for blessings and honor. Yeah, and we're in it. He also taught the people, whomever they are, who despise and and hurt children, oh. it'd be better off if uh, there was a millstone tied around your tied neck, around the neck, and then toss and, it uh, into the deepest the, ocean. So that those who drown. steal the innocence of a child, it's better if they weren't born. Yep, but you know, it's it's that's how important children children are yeah. to God. Yes, they they're were closer given to God to than us. any of us. Absolutely, they were given to us as a gift. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's supposed to be a privilege for us to care, respect, honor, right. uh, teach them uh, 
uh, all of those things to be uh, you know honest and respectful. That's a, but you know it's a reminder to all of us. Uh, so anyway, maybe we wind it up. A yeah, little we're getting bit. a little long winded here. Yeah, and today we're just kind of like the some days we just like to sit and shoot the breeze. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, because we don't mean, we mean to preach to some degree, but we don't mean to browbeat, to browbeat or anybody. Or Bible uh, Because that doesn't do, whether it does you any good or not, right. it doesn't do me any good. Well, and it's God just, told us, God told us to go out and preach the gospel to the ends of the earth. And if necessary, yeah. use words, if yeah. necessary. Yep. Yeah. So We try to be a beacon yeah. of goodness <clears throat> and wholesomeness that people desire. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So before we get out to, we love you, all of you who watch and listen to these. We honestly, legitimately love you. And uh, and we give you a, honor and respect. Back. Yes. And it is an honor for us uh, to have, uh, I don't know, 60 or so that uh, shows that continuously uh, watch are, yeah. are, are, I guess you call them followers or however that's termed. Uh, we thank man, you. we thank you from the bottom of we our We wouldn't heart. be doing this if it weren't for you. No. You realize we're working on two years at doing this. Man, wow. life, that's, time has just gone like It's that. like God's got at the big calendar of life, right, and he's like, going, <laughs> you're like, yep, whoa. Yeah. So you want to close this out, Keith? Sure, and, absolutely. And Sovereign Lord, Amen. you are holy and true. Yes. And we, we thank you for your faithfulness to us. And we do our best to give our faithfulness back to you, Lord. Yes, we do. Um, for those that are watching, Lord, I lift them up to you. I pray that you give, you instill in their hearts the honor and the respect that only you can give. I pray that you reign your Holy Spirit upon yes. all of us, Lord, yes. and instill in our Amen. hearts the need and the responsibility to show honor and respect to others. Because when we honor others, we honor you. And we praise you for your faithfulness and your mercy that you have given and shown all of us. Yes, amen. Um, we thank you, Lord, and we praise your holy name in Jesus' name. Amen. And while we're still at that, Father, those who have physical uh, ailments of some type, we lift all of you up to the court of healing. Yes, Lord. And we claim amen. healing, doesn't matter what it is, uh, upon you. And Craig, uh, this applies to, to you and your wife too. A absolutely. And um, Donna, if you're listening, I read your uh, and responded to your uh, Facebook thing here the other day. Sweetheart, we are uh, praying for you. I personally am praying for you. Um, and uh, again, the, it's an open invitation. Call me. I'm willing to sit and listen or just talk, whatever, but you're special too. So Father God, I thank you again as we yes. close out and that uh, we look forward to our request being answered in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, amen. Yep. And amen. like always, we'll see, see you in, in church. church. That one. Yep. <laughs>